This uh, lesson is on how to create a reminder and that's what this whole program is about. So it is important that uh, you understand that what you fill in here is actually how everything is going to work for you and it's all about working for you, not the pro you working for the program. And to create a new reminder we just have to click the add new button. The first thing you'll see is the create reminder screen. Okay, A number of fields on the right with a calendar on the left. By default, the calendar has picked a date six months into the future because all reminders would be in the future. So it's simply a matter of selecting the date that your reminder is due. Okay, This is the due date that it must be completed by. Okay, So we'll say I've got a reminder that's due in April and the date of reminder is the 18th of April. It must be due by. Okay, The next thing you put in there is the property that it's referenced to. So uh, in order to type, you can type the property in but it won't be saved. Uh, only will be saved in these details. So if you go to the select button here and you'll notice I set up a property before I can um, select that property now or I can add a new property which will come into this list and we'll do that. We'll add a new property to Latrobe, same sort of street and the owner again is me put my mobile and save and you notice you've got it in the list now you can select either one of these and whichever one you select will go into the property box and the owner box that will be there forever in relation to this reminder now contractor again the same thing we select a contractor and you notice I've got a contractor in my list of Sam's electrical but if I want to add a new contractor the same as properties it might be Mark's and John or John's plumbing And uh, contractor uh, number might be 034. Do my number again, just keeps everything above board. And we'll go save and see John's plumbing. So you might want to select John's plumbing into your list. Okay, now the reminder method quite simple drop down box. You've got three choices. This reminder can be simply an email to the person you want it to remind. It can be a simple SMS or it can be both and both um, is usually a good preference. It's going to send an SMS and an email to the contact that we put into this reminder below. So we'll take both in this case. The degree of notice. Okay, there's our date. What we're looking for here is a period before that date you want to be notified that this action. Now just on the right here I do have a uh, built in some help uh, on site here so you can see that what degree of notice. This is measured in days. Insert any numerical amount. Your notice will start by that number before the due date. So if we want to be notified seven days in advance which is a standard uh, that's when our reminder will start. But you might only want to be reminded one day in advance so it's, it's only a simple matter of selecting putting one in there or two it could be two you know but just notice it's going to the list you just have to delete the other bits but two days in advance of this item you will start getting a notice that this is due to be reminded so in our case I'm just going to select seven okay to keep it tidy recurring okay does this reminder recur and this is a simple is this a once off occasion that this reminder is required if it is then you would select no if it's recurring i.e. that every 12 months this is going to reoccur then this is where you would select yes okay and therefore what happens then is dependent on how often it recurs and if you select a period in months here must be months one month two months three months could be five or six however there's some uh, defaults here 12 months would be a standard then what happens is the moment you complete this reminder and I'll show you what how to do that in another video you complete the reminder and reset it it will automatically reset this reminder into a 12 month future date okay so it would reset it to the 18th of April 2013 and close the current one as being complete. What is the action required? And At the moment this is the first reminder that we've ever built in this program so it, it really um, needs you to type it in. Uh, the action that we're going to do here is might be an insurance renewal. Okay when you close this and save it the next time you bring it up the action required would have re insurance renewal in this drop down box. Any notes, this is not important, not critical to anything. So uh, you, know, you can just type a few reminder notes there that you want uh, for things. Now persisting. 
We said here before that seven days prior to the 18th of uh, April, we are going to be reminded about this uh, action insurance renewal. If you set persistence, yes, it means that you will be reminded seven days before. You will then get reminded six days before. You will then get reminded five days before. You'll get reminded daily if you haven't closed this action. The moment you close it, you will no longer get it. By setting it to yes, you'll get a daily reminder until it's closed, including if you go past the 18th of April. Okay, now we're going to select the staff name. And okay, as we said, as with the other things, there are no staff. So we'll add a new staff here and we'll just happen to put me in there. Can be any staff member you like. Okay, email, which is critical. This is the email the person will get an email to that will remind them that uh, this action needs to be done. And the mobile number is critical. This is the mobile number to which the SMS will be sent. Save. OK. Again, just double clicking puts the two in the box. Now, that's your reminder complete. This now, when you save and close, will be put into the system and that reminder will become active. So uh, the first time it will activate will be on the 11th of April, which is seven days before the 18th, and you will get a, a SMS and a email reminder. So this action is doing. Now, at this point, you can save and clear and do a new reminder or you can save and use the same details if there is something similar. So we'll use save and use the same details. The reminder's now been set up. And what we've got is on the 18th of April, we've actually got, um, gonna use now the electrical contractor. So we'll change the electrical contractor, same property. Uh, and this one will be renewal, but this will be a smoke alarm check. Okay, and the same person being the staff member. I'm going to save and close now. The reminder has been set up. That's how simple it is to set up a reminder.